Hello and welcome to this video on finding the standard deviation of a frequency table using a Casio FX83 calculator. In this question, we have a table that shows us how a class of students scored in a test. We see there are two rows. On the top row, it gives us the marks and on the lower row, the number of students that got that mark. So we see, for instance, that three students scored three marks in the test and two students scored four marks. To find the standard deviation, first I must ensure that the frequency is turned on in the calculator. This is a setup issue. So I press shift and setup. Pressing the down arrow key, I have an option three, which is to do with statistics. And now I have the choice to turn the frequency on or off. I choose option one. So now the frequency is turned on. It will remain on in the calculator unless I deliberately turn it off at a later stage. Now I want to enter this data into the calculator. So I'm going to turn the calculator to statistics mode. So mode and option two is statistics. In this set of data, the marks is the variable and the number of students is the frequency. So there is only one variable. Option one here is for one variable. I choose option one. And now I can see it's ready for me to enter the data into the table. The X column are the marks, three, four, five, six, etc., And the frequency will be three, two, six, 10. So I enter each piece of data. I'll start with the marks three and press equals each time. Four equals five equals six equals etc. Now I have my X column written in. I'm going to use the arrow button to now write in the appropriate frequencies. So three students got three marks. So I write three and equals. And two students got four marks. Six students got five marks. 10 students got six marks. No student got seven marks. Three students got eight marks and one student got nine marks. Now, when I'm happy that all the data is correctly entered, and I can check this again using the up and down sideways arrows buttons. When I'm happy that it's all correctly entered, I now press the AC button. Now, don't panic. The information hasn't disappeared. Now I see above the button one, it has stat written in yellow. To activate a yellow button, I press the shift. So I press shift one. Standard deviation is a variance question. So option four is to do with variance. And the symbol for standard deviation is this symbol here. It's the Greek letter sigma. So I choose option three and write equals. And it tells me the standard deviation for this table is 1.523 to three decimal places.